stand on the feet of every battle you Church, and welcome to our service this morning. It's always an honor to be with you and a privilege to share God's word. I know that many of us are going through a very difficult time, not just at home, but throughout the world. Many people are hurting. They have lost their jobs, they have lost their homes, they are hungry, they feel hopeless and helpless. Children are scared and sad, and we feel that no one cares. Some of us do, but it's sad to say that most of us don't. What does it mean to care? Well, the dictionary said that to care is to feel concern or to have an interest, you know, to attach serious attention to something or someone. When we care, there are signs of empathy, kindness, compassion, gentleness, do you care? Do I care? You should care. You should care. Caring makes a difference. Caring makes a difference. We should care. Today we will learn from scripture why we should care, how we should care, and when we should care. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, as I come before your throne of grace this morning, I thank you. Thank you for this new day, for this new life, and this new opportunity. And the privilege to just exist in this world, dear Lord God Almighty, to make impact in some form or fashion. Thank you, wonderful God, for this opportunity. Thank you, wonderful God, for your word. And I pray, wonderful God, that you open our minds and our hearts to receive. Not just to receive, but to apply. And I pray, wonderful God, that you allow your word to transform us to change our thinking and our approach to life. Help us, dear Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' name, and the name of that name. Amen. I believe that every human being has a capacity to care, and every Christian has an obligation to care. I believe that deep down in our hearts, every one of us wants to care. But some of us just don't understand the importance and the impact that it would have and, or even know how to administer it. I also believe that, you know, at some point in time in our lives, we would have experienced the joy and the comfort that comes from someone caring for us. Caring can make a difference, and we should care. We should care. Why we should care? Because Christ cared. Because Christ cared. To be Christ-like, is to care. If we have any encouragement from him, from being united with him in his spirit, and a combination of kindness and love and the attributes that Christ displayed, if we have that, 
then we will care. Then we will care. Why we should care? Because Christ cared. Because Christ cared. Christ made a difference in the lives of the people that he came in contact with. The prostitute who was isolated and rejected by society, Christ made an impact in her life and made a difference. The poor, the proud, even the rich, even the rich, those who you think that do not need care, Christ cared. He made a difference and even to today, Jesus Christ is still making a difference in our lives and in many lives. Why we should care? Because God wants us to care. Because God wants us to care. God wants to meet the needs of others through us. As Christ loved us, so also we should love one another. We can make a difference with very little effort sometimes. We can make a difference. God wants us to care. Second Corinthians chapter 1 Verse 3 to 5 said, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. For just as the suffering of Christ flow over into our lives, so also through Christ, our comfort overflows. We need to adopt the attributes of Christ. God wants us to care. God wants us to care. He gave us what is necessary, what is necessary to care. All we need is a heart. All we need is a heart. All we need is the spirit of Christ. We need to adopt the att attributes of Christ. Allow God to use us to care. As God comforts others, comforts us, so we should also comfort others. Also, God cares for us. Why we should care? Because God cares for us. He said, cast all your anxiety upon me because I care for you. And he's expecting that the anxiety of others could be cast upon us and that we would care and we would make a difference. We should give unto others as we like for ourselves. And as we receive from God, we should also give to others. We should also give to others. Care, a little time, you know, a little phone call, a little attention. Why we should care. Compassion for the needy is part of Christ's character and should be a quality of every Christian and the church. The ministry of Christ was to reveal God to the world. And that is also our ministry. And when the world see how much we love and how much we care, then they will want to know God and to serve Him. Why we should care? Because Christ cared. Because God wants us to care. And because God cares for us, we should care for others. If we truly care, we can make a difference. To be Christ-like is to care. To be Christ-like is to care. Second, how should we care? As Christ cared. As Christ cared, of course. How we should care? With compassion. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. All these are attributes of Christ. All these are attributes of Christ. How we should care is with compassion. Compassion. How we care can make a difference. Christ had compassion for the sick, for the poor, the oppressed. Our responsibility is to help those in need. That is our responsibility. We should not look down on anyone unless we are helping them out. That is how we should care, by helping people up. Kindness is a language that the deaf can hear and the blind can see. 
That is how we can care, by showing kindness. With charity and benevolence. With charity, it's a practical approach. That is how we should care. And caring makes a difference. See, we can make a difference when we actually show that we care, demonstrate it. Hebrews 13, 16 said, And do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifice God is pleased. Do not give for publicity, but for charity. What happens, you know, and when I used to, to work in the secular, the company that I used to work for, he's one of them, he used to give charity. But not unless there's a big banner identifying who it is given and getting some publicity out of the whole act. That is given for publicity, not for charity. Sometimes you give just for publicity. Just for publicity. Not because we care, but we want to show, we want the announcement. If we're not getting that publicity or announcement, we would not give. We would not care. How we should care? Hmm? Sometimes giving some encouragement, giving some time, just showing some interest in someone, a simple phone call, hmm? a visit, short visit. And I know, again, with the pandemic and social distancing, some of these things might be difficult, but with a little effort, we can make a difference. With a little effort, we can make a difference. How we should care? With sincerity. Care from the heart. Care as Christ did. First John 3, 17 to 18 said, If anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how could the love of God be in him? Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth practical approach. Right? Care is free. Be free to care. Don't care for credit. To be Christian is to care. To be Christ-like is to care. Let our actions prove who we are. Whatever we do, do it with sincerity. Do it with sincerity. People will know when you are sincere and when you are not. People will know. So be genuine. Be genuine. How we care can make a difference. Offer hospitality without grumbling. Offer hospitality without grumbling. Don't give just to get a blessing, but give to be a blessing. That is how we should care. Here's a quote from Leo Bascaglia. Too often we underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word, a listening air, an honest compliment or the smallest act of caring. All of which have the potential to turn a life around. Caring makes a difference. Caring makes a difference. When we should care? When we should care? Well, the scripture again is showing us the Second Corinthians 9, 8. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that in all things at all, all times having all that you need you will abound in every good work god has already given us all that we need all we need to do is care and when we need to do it all the time christ never stopped caring to this day he's still caring today to this day he's still caring whatever you ask for in my name the father will give you ask and you will receive Ask and you will receive. We must care all the time. Never stop caring. You know, I had an experience in the hospital recently. And, you know, one of the nurses was complaining. And he was saying that, you know, he's so frustrated that things are moving so slow. Things take too long to get done. Patients are suffering and waiting too long for help. And then when he shared the reason I was, it was amazing that he's saying that they have the ability to do it. But hear what? When it's a family member to a friend, man, they move so fast. They move so fast. And he was just like, you know, this shouldn't be. We should care all the time. 
We should care all the time. Patients are just here suffering, waiting so long. But when it's your family and friends, quickly everything gets done. That is not right, brothers and sisters. We should care when, even it's, not, when it's not even convenient. We should care. That is when we should care all the time. Also, every available opportunity, when we should care. Every available opportunity. Galatians 6.10 said, that, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. As we have opportunity, let us not neglect doing good. Let us not just wait when it's convenient. Sometimes we feel that it is beyond us. Sometimes we feel that we don't have enough money to care. No, you don't have to be brilliant. You don't have to be rich. Anyone can care. With little effort, you can make a difference. We should not only care for those who care for us. <laughs> no, we should care for everybody. And we should care at every opportunity that we have. We should care when no one else does. Every opportunity. We should care when it makes a difference to the, those who need it most. We should care when it makes a difference to those who need it most. James 1, 27 said, Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distresses and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Christ cared for those whom society rejected. Christ cared for those whom society rejected. Orphans, the widows, the sick, the poor, the helpless. Christ was always concerned about this group. Even the smallest act of caring can make a difference in another person's life. It's like a drop of water in a pond that ripples throughout. The smallest act of caring. Sometimes we neglect those who are closest to us, even to care for those who are close to those who we love. Caring can make a difference. Why we should care? Friends, to be like Christ is to care. To be like Christ is to care. And caring makes a difference. Why we should care? To be like Christ is to care. God wants us to care. God cares for us, so we should care for others. How we should care? Compassion, charity and benevolence, with sincerity. When we should care? At all times. With every opportunity that we have. And, what, and, and when it makes a difference to those who need it most. Brothers and sisters, with all that has taken place in the world and in our lives, please, let us find it in our hearts to put on the attributes of Christ and to care. To make a difference in this world, sometimes it's just a little effort. Just one person sometimes can just make a difference. Do you care? And we should care. We should care. Let us pray. Oh, wonderful God, I thank you for your word. Thank you, wonderful Father, for the encouragement, dear Lord, to, to care. Even in this distressing time, dear Lord God Almighty, sometimes we become so selfish and we isolate ourselves, not concerned about what's going on with our neighbors, our relatives, and our friends. God Almighty, I pray that you just give us that love and that compassion, dear Lord, in our hearts, and the ability to exercise it, dear Lord, by demonstrating care. For others i pray wonderful god that each and every one of us who would have heard your word that we would apply to our lives transform us dear lord god almighty and be with us in jesus name and other name i pray amen at this time i pray a special blessing on our tithes and our offering let us pray oh wonderful father oh god almighty you are our provider you are god almighty you own everything and it's our duty god almighty to give back unto you and I pray a special blessing, dear Lord God Almighty, on the tithes and the offering that we have received, dear Lord. I pray that you use it for the benefit of your kingdom and for the furtherance of your gospel. I pray a blessing on each and every one, dear Lord God Almighty, who would have given and those who have the intention to. I pray, wonderful God, that you use it, God Almighty, and that we use it wisely. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>